<laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you may have seen these products in local stores or around town, but we brought the mastermind behind the brand for a little taste test. Yes, Got indeed. It. <laughs> Oscar Perez, Olya Vides here, is, the CEO and president of Tio Pellin's Salsita, joins us. Good afternoon, sir. Nice Boy, you have brought, if you want some snacks yes. here, it's calling my name. Okay, <laughs> this is not ordinary salsa, right? No, it's not. It's a Norteño Mexican style salsa. So, so it's a salsita kind salsita, of, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, a salsita, it's a pure jalapeno salsas. So basically no tomato in the sauces. Okay. No so tomato in there. No in tomato the in the red sauce, no. So pure so jalapeno, pure so this red is on jalapeno. a totally different heat scale, right, than regular salsa. Um, maybe. It's gonna be a little bit spicier, mm -hmm. but nothing too much. Nothing yeah, too much. It's okay. Pure jalapeno, so as spicy as a jalapeno gets. Okay. Right. And then <laughs> what is this? That is our especial. It's, it's our sweet chipotle sauce. So it's basically a pure chipotle sugar and vinegar sauce that is very sweet, smoky, has a great acidic flavor to it. Great for a block of cheese, wings. And, and you said yeah. just the simple appetizer, put that over a block of cream cheese like that. Definitely, and yeah. You are then. That's all you need. Good to go. I gotta try a little bit right. of this. So, so you, what have I got here? I'm, we're making what? That is going to be just a jalapeno dip. So basically it's just avocado, some crema fresca. It's a Mexican style crema, right? Mm -hmm. Which now is gonna be, it's gonna, not gonna be as sour as your typical sour cream. Then a dash of salt, uh, salt and you're good to go. You could always add some salsa to it. So if you wanna add any of your uh, sauces right there, like uh, the, the cremosa. The sweetness in that and the flavor, I was expecting something like really hot, that's delicious. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's a great sauce. It uh, has a sweetness of a jam, mm -hmm. right? But it's not precisely a jam. There's no gelatin or pectin in it, like most jams. Yeah. Now, you can't take all the credit from this. Whose recipes we got going on here? So though? our original is Emma, the red sauce. It's my grandma's recipe, right? Mm -hmm. It comes from Reynosa, Mexico, which is northern Mexico, right ac across the frontier with McAllen. Um, so in her ranch kitchen down in Reynosa, she came up with that red jalapeno sauce. So many years ago. Uh -huh. And that was her ranch kitchen, and then you did these in your kitchen. Yes, I did this in my kitchen here in Tobin Hill in San Antonio. <laughs> Started off making them out of my apartment kitchen. Okay. Okay. All right, and you've won awards for this, right? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we went to HB's Quest for Texas Best uh, in 2018. We made it to the top 25 out of 700 competitors, 60% um, of them being salsas. <laughs> so kind of said, okay, Maybe they have, we maybe we're onto something here, right? right? Good flavor, good good branding. Okay, so we've got, mm -hmm. pardon me for talking my mouth full, mm -hmm. tamales here, we've got a quesadilla. Yeah. And then the, the guacamole. So. The guacamole. And yeah. Can, so, pass that board over, yep. please. And yes, I will sir. put it on there. And then you can doll them up and make it nice and tasty and just the way they should be. Okay. All right, and so what's next on your goal list? Where do you want to go from, from here? Yeah, so our goal is to basically grow as much as we can, right? Um, be part of uh, all, all of the stores in Texas, right? Get a much broader audience here in Texas. We just entered HEB shelves uh, back in November. Mm -hmm. So we hit uh, over 200 HEBs across the state with our two green salsas, cremosa and tomatillo. Okay. So right here, right, we can make, there's many things you can do with this salsa. So very simple. Make so besides pistada, chips and and tortillas and what you would normally put it on. What else would all of these salsitas taste good on? Yeah, we're making here a quick tostada, right? This is something you can make in your home for in under five minutes. Okay. Get some shredded chicken, some uh, avocado and crema, and then just put some cheese. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, yes and drizzle it with some salsas. And okay. I would assume, put it on eggs, put it on anything, right? Yeah, no, it's great on eggs, breakfast eggs, tacos, uh, any kind of like nachos. I mean, I put it on ramen. That's right? what oh, yeah. about. which you one did you say was good on the ramen? The red one goes really well on ramen for surprisingly, it's pure jalapeno. So it's like a Mexican style sriracha, Ooh. right? <laughs> you, you just that. That would taste really, I'm, I'm 
I'm gonna eat that Loving whole block. That. Okay. <laughs> and of course, folks can find you online, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, online we do offer free shipping from our website always. Um, and but you can find us all over HEB in Central Markets, mm -hmm. Whole Foods, Sprouts. Okay. It is delicious. Yes. It is great. It's not your, well, it is your grandmother's salsita because it's your grandmother's <laughs> salsita. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank for more you. information on Tio Palon Salsita, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link or just snap that QR code on your screen.